Hey guys, I'm out at my brother's house today. It's been nice weather for March. We're out here and he's been smoking some plate beef ribs on this uh, Oklahoma Joe smoker. Bronco. The what? Bronco. Bronco. And let's pan over here and he's been using some B&B &B charcoal along with some uh, post, oak. post oak. And he's gonna explain to you what he's done so far for these ribs. All right, so I got a four bone beef plate rib, AKA the dino rib, whatever you want to call it. I got it yesterday. I trimmed the fat cap off of it. I went with a two part pepper, salt dry rub on top of it. That's good. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then I hit it up with some granulated garlic and other spices today. It's been on there for about six hours. If you'll notice the gauge on the Bronco it's sitting around 225, but it's always 40 to 50 degrees higher. So I run my ink bird system on top of it. And then I just monitor my flow over here on the intake valves. So now if it's hit my desired temperature that I'm looking for. I'm Tell what temperature is that? I like to pull it around depending on the bark. The bark is pretty good. If you can hit the bark good and you don't have a lot of pullback with you, there throughout the smoke, I like to dump some of the moisture on the top. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose inside moisture. Now I'm gonna transfer this to this little plate to take inside, and I'm gonna wrap it in my butcher paper to continue it on and keep it warm. You can put this in the oven on a warm setting if you have that, or about 175 just to keep it going for a couple of hours because we're not going to eat for a little while. But I'm actually going to wrap mine, bump this down, put it back out here so I don't mess up my wife's pretty kitchen. All right, guys. Just stop. Anything else? Stop. <laughs>